Now, in order to take control, many devices were developed in order to dominate and control, and they tell us specifically what those devices are. The symbols in almost all the publications from Britain and Rome have strange emblems and symbols that reference domination and power. The fasces is an electromagnetic weapon used by the royals to take over. Just think about it, a bundle of rods would make an axe unusable. Quote, it was Etruscan before Roman, so it has a long history. When Rome began to transition to authoritarianism, the fasces became a symbol of that. But it was long held to be a symbol of the power of Rome and the will of the people. The fasces were a series of bound rods with an axe head within them, and were carried by lictors, or the bodyguards of ancient Rome. Wherever an important elected leader went, lictors followed. By this, the rod of the lictors, the fasces, became a symbol of power and government and law. So they are trying to play it as if they were really using these weapons for protection or for some type of status. Fasces are electromagnetic guns. Now this same magnetic field is much more potent if it operates on an aluminium sheet instead of on the mercury. The reason for this is that aluminium is about 40 times more conducting than mercury. Of course, I could make it more potent still if I could put some steel behind the aluminium to improve the magnetic circuit. But instead of this, I'm going to change the shape of the motor. Can you imagine that the two sides were bent up? Having imagined that to be done, let's make a machine that looks like that. We should find that the windings are very simple, being only a row of coils like this. The moving part is a steel rod with a copper sleeve around it. We put it in the end of the tube and fire. Well, that wasn't a bad shot, was it? This electromagnetic gun seems to have taken us right back to the start with our rifle. It looks as if we can make an electromagnetic model of nearly anything. We've certainly managed to reproduce the gun. Quote, the fascist has been all over American symbology from the very beginning. You'll find it in dozens, if not hundreds of places around America, mostly in government institutions. The House of Representatives use a fascist to represent its master at arms from 1789 onward. Its use is quite common in reference to law and was commonly seen alongside things like scales and statues of the blind justice. It looks like a pile of twigs attached to an axe could be one of the deadliest weapons known to mankind. The elite know what the symbol means, it's so we know who is in power. To fully cover how the fasces worked, we have to talk about atmospheric conditions of the past, the aether, and magnetic flips. The magnetic aether was more powerful in the past, and it fluctuates leading to cataclysmic events and it can e